Good evening all, Neil here again with another video on Awesome Miner. Tonight we're going to cover the section of web access. Uh, just to show you guys if we go to buy. The web access is called build in web and it's only available when you go to a professional edition. If you click on that it gives you the interface you'll see via the internet or actually via your telephone. So yeah, let's get started. If you go to Awesome Miner, I've got my miners just running on the side here. If you go inside Options, I uh, just want to mention every time I have to move this in screen, I've got a wide screen, and every time I open it, it opens up with smack bang in the middle. So I, can't, I won't be able to do the resolution on the videos. But anyway, so if we go into Options, we go to Web, and this section over here is what you want to basically enable. If we enable that one, it's going to be your port number. And we can click OK, just make sure it saves it. And we can go back. Web. And just on the fly quickly, I can show you how it's going to look. Okay, so now basically this is just on my PC and my home network picking up. So it's not from an external internet source yet. Or if you're walking around in town and you want to do from your phone. So here you'll see your dashboard. Shows you your profit and your mining rigs, what, what they're mining at the stage. And notifications and it also comes up here. So this is exactly what you'll see via the internet. But just, just locally now. So if you want to view this from another PC in your house, you can do so. Okay, so we're going to take it one step further. We want to now see it from, from outside. So first off, what you'll have to do is you need to get all your PCs like we've done before on static IPs. Like for instance, my, my house PC is 192.168.74.250 and we'll have to get that static IP of your PC port forwarded to the TCP. Uh, protocol. So in the beginning it sounds a bit tricky but depending on your modem you've got or your router you've got that it makes life quite easy. So first off uh, we're going to quickly just show you right click here. So this was 192.168.74.250 So just to show you, I actually just type that in here as well The same thing is going to come up. Okay, so basically the service is definitely working. So what we're going to need to do now is we can go into the router, which is the same IP range, which is 254. Okay, so I've got a Netgear router. And this one wasn't actually so straightforward as what I was hoping for. But if you're lucky and you've got the same one, what you want to do is you want to go to services. Under services you'll see there I've got my mining dashboard and the same port number. The port number, just to make sure you know where to get it, is this port number over here in Awesome Miner. So if we go back to the router settings, we can go add and we call this anything. And we're going to do that same port 17790. Okay, we can apply that. So now we'll have an extra one there, which I'll just delete afterwards, but just to show you. Now we can go to Firewall Rules. And as soon as you're in here now, we've got Outbound and Inbound, so we want to come in from the outside. So we can say Add. And we've got Awesome Miner as an extra one now. Okay, and what we need to do now is we need to type in your home PC 
IP over here. And this is the one which has got your awesome miner running, obviously. This we keep it any. You don't have to log it, so it's okay. And you apply that. Okay, so basically this is saying that I'm, I'm using it automatically already, so it will add it, but uh, it's just an alert that it is already in use. So I've got two of them now, so what I'll just do for now is I'll just take that one and delete it. Okay, so when you've got that running, what you can do, the service is now on your modem, you are doing a port forwarding to that IP. And what you need to find out now is what your actual IP is. So if you go into Google and say my IP. And obviously for the purposes of this video I'm going to hide that for now. But uh, this is your IP. And what you need to do now is you basically use that same IP over here. Let me just copy that. copy it in there and you say enter so now it's doing exactly the same but this is actually going through the internet now um, and what I've done actually is I've done the same on my phone and I took some screenshots to upload here and this is what it comes up so there's my mobile phone IP is in there and you can have your dashboard shown or you can have your minus shown as well Okay, and that's basically it. You can also add a username and password if you want to do that. For my for my ones, I'm not doing that. And uh, it's quite quite nice to be walking around if you want to show friends on how it's working or if you want to see what's going on at home. It's an easy way to, to access your miners. Best would be if you can get a static IP from your from your service provider that your IP which you get on, get on Google will stay the same. Uh, for, for instance, for me, this change, not that often, but it does change. And, yes, many service providers don't actually charge for that service, so maybe I'll just get mine done as to a proper static IP. Okay, so that's in a nutshell what you can do. Quite nice features. The next one I'm most probably going to do, I'll quickly just show you guys a sneak peek. Uh, what I would like to do is still is under GPUs, these sections of clock and power is all zero and grayed out. So what you can actually do with Awesome Miner is if when you do upgrade to the one just above the one I've got, is you can do large scale GPU overclocking. So what this means is, and this is only under the premium edition, so you can now start to manage your overclocking from from your server and what it does is you just install MSI Afterburner Remote Server server and it goes through that and you can do your overclocking of core memory and your power limit and your fan speed. Anyway gents hope this was helpful. If so please like and subscribe and I will surely update more videos on awesome minor. Have a good evening. Cheers bye